Okay, so guys, when you come to the bus lot, your buses will be parked and you will have a staff member, myself or one of the other folks that are gonna be doing the screening process. They will approach the bus. They'll have a thing of hand sanitizer that you will use as you come off the bus. Your bus driver will hand me a seating chart. And then one by one, you guys will come off the bus. You will get a thing of hand sanitizer, a little dab of it. And then I'm going to check your temperature and ask you the screening questions. Thank you. All right, Roger. Yes, sir. Come on down. Yes, sir. There, but have you been in close contact with anyone last two weeks? With no, sir. Had any of the symptoms yourself? No, sir. You been diagnosed with it? No, sir. Let's do a quick temperature for you. All right, buddy. I just go in that door. Yes, sir. Okay. You'll just go right there. If you need your breakfast, you grab it on the way through. Yes, so now at each of our entrance points, uh, coming into the school in the morning time, we're going to have breakfast little kiosks set up. Breakfast is free to anyone coming in for the rest of the year. Uh, so if you're needing one, you're able just to pick one up. Hot stuff will be in these uh, thermal bags, so you can pick that up. And then the cold goods will come out of one of these. And there will be a staff member there. They'll just tally it up and you can go straight on to class. But you will have one of these at the side by carpool. There'll be one in the main entrance. And then there will be one set out like our curbside pickup in the afternoons are done right now, uh, outside the um, cafeteria entrance. Okay, guys, we'll do it that way. If for whatever reason you do have a higher temperature, which is 100.4 or more, I'll just have you come out and you'll just wait over to the side by yourself. We're not gonna be closing in on each other, grouping up. We gotta keep that social distance of at least six feet. And then I'll come back and I'll check your temperature a little bit later and see if it's all good to go. If for whatever reason that temperature is not right, then I'm going to have to escort you down to our isolation room or our sick room where uh, we'll wait for your mom and daddy to be able to come and pick you up from school. Okay guys, once you've turned to head back around the back side of the school, if you'll stay in the right hand lane to begin with, bus traffic will get into the left hand lane so that they can go, they'll be much slower. But you can use both lanes, but we want the buses really to be that left lane so they can make that turn. And then as you come around, Buses will be turning in to the left here into the bus parking lot. Carpool will continue going forward and you can start merging over to the left. No one is allowed to get off on the back side of the school. You must continue going right on around. We will have a couple of staff members posted back here to make sure no one's stopping and letting out early. close contact in the last two weeks with anyone diagnosed with COVID-19? I don't think so. Okay. Have you uh, had any symptoms yourself? Shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, uh, new loss of taste or smell or a new cough? No, sir. Okay. And have you been diagnosed with COVID-19? No, sir. Let me take your hat off for a second. Let me get a temperature scan real quick. All right, you're 97.5, you're gonna be good to go. You'll go ahead and exit and you can go right in that side door. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Pike. Hey, buddy. Uh, last two weeks you've been in close contact with uh, anyone with COVID-19? Not I can think of. Okay, in close contact would be within six feet for 15 minutes or more. 
I've been close to some people, but I don't, I don't know if they had COVID or not. Okay, so you don't know if they had COVID, okay. Uh, have you had any symptoms of COVID? Uh, fever, chills, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, a new cough, or a loss of taste or smell? I didn't, I didn't feel good yesterday morning. Mama gave me some Tylenol and that I felt better. And then this morning, I didn't feel good either. And she gave me some more Tylenol and told me to come on to school. Okay, son, let's check your temperature real quick. Uh, all right, but um, that's uh, a little high. Uh, so it's over that 100.4. Um, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you and your daddy, if you wanna pull over right here, and then I'll take the temperature again in about five minutes. It's been about five minutes, let's try it again. Daddy, I'm sorry, he's, he's still high. Uh, I tell you what I'm gonna need to get from you, man. Uh, give me your whole name, your date of birth, uh, phone number that I can get a hold of, mom and daddy, and uh, grade level. And I'm gonna put down on here that you had a fever over 100.4. Uh, there is a sheet that I'm gonna be giving you right now. Uh, health department will be in contact with you, daddy. So just take him on to the house and they'll handle it from there. Go ahead. All right, guys, student drivers coming in on the football side, you'll come on and you must turn right to go into the main lot. Student drivers entering from the tennis court area or side will come in like Mr. Norris is doing right now. The side lot beside the tennis courts is off limits. It will be closed until further notice for student parking. Hey guys, for student drivers coming from the tennis court side, you're gonna be in also with that carpool traffic carpool is going to be turning right and heading back behind the school student drivers will have their turn signal on and will be directed by mr norris to turn on to the main loop going around and then you'll be able to enter into one of two areas for your student parking all right guys so now if you're a student driver you have already come in you found your spot uh, you need to hang in your car until you get to 645. Uh, the building is not open for any student to come in until 645. Uh, at that time, then you will exit your car and everyone will proceed to the main entrance. Uh, the gym lobby entrance is not going to be open and neither will the auditorium lobby entrance. The only place for student drivers to enter the building is the main entrance. Students will stop on the designated X marking on the cement. Our staff will ensure the student has his or her mask. Staff members will ask the student a series of three questions. Have you had close contact with someone with COVID-19? Do you have any symptoms? And have you been diagnosed with COVID-19? Once that has taken place, our staff member will do a temperature scan. Then the student can proceed into the building and go directly to first block. Thanks for watching our Plan B model for coming back to school. We know you have tons of questions and we will do our best to answer them. Please reach out to our teachers, counselors, administrators, or just call our school office at 919 934 2455. 919 934 2455. All information is subject to change based on guidance from our district or state level. We will keep you updated as more decisions are being made as we return back to Cleveland High School. Please always reference our school website for more information. Also, follow us on all of our social media platforms such as Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.